Hi, I'm Victoria. I'm Alexa. I'm Ellie. And, and this week, we're, we're going to try to be zero waste. Well, <laughs> I decided to do this challenge because I'm a urban and environmental sustainability major, and I've always been like environmentally conscious, but as that major and like taking other classes, I felt like I could be doing more for the environment, and I really wanted to like push myself to do that like extra drive of being like super environmentally conscious. I'm just really scared of like what's going on with the environment right now. Every time I see things like in the media about the environment and the state of it, it really scares me, so I feel like if I can contribute in any way, like it'll make me feel at least a little bit better and like I'm yeah. doing my part. Yeah. I was pretty curious, especially in the city, like how packaging works and what kind of food you can eat on like a no waste diet, I guess. Because most things come in packaging and we know that plastic bags are everywhere in New York City and there's trash all over the sidewalk. And I just wanted to see like how much one person can do with no waste. Word. I became aware of the zero waste lifestyle through like YouTube videos mm -hmm. and I remember seeing this one woman who literally just has a mason jar of her yeah. trash for like two years. This is going to be my little handy dandy trash jar. My goal is to keep the trash all in this one jar for the whole week so I guess we'll see if I'm able to meet that goal. It is the first morning. Day one, trash so far. I've got two little tags in here from articles of clothing that I had to buy for work. There are a lot of things that only take like an extra few seconds. I really enjoyed composting actually. I felt like the garbage was cleaner in your house rather than having that big trash bag. I just started my compost. I'm actually really proud of it. So here is what it looks like. I filled it about a little less than halfway with some soil. So I'm just going to put the lid on top, I cut some holes in it. But yeah, this is where my little DIY composter is going to live. I did a mock run of going grocery shopping at Whole Foods just to see what they had because it was the closest store that I knew sold in bulk. And it was good, but it was really expensive. And a lot of the stuff that I needed came in plastic packaging, especially like meats and stuff. I know maybe I shouldn't be eating meat if we're going like completely zero waste. Maybe I'll actually try that. The problem for me is that it's hard to find any protein besides peanut butter or almond butter. And I'm a big protein person. Most of my food is protein. I eat a lot of chicken. I think that the grocery part, for me at least, was a little much because I had to drive like 50 minutes because that's the closest bulk store to me. I just cut out of the bulk item grocery store and I maybe got like 10-ish things, maybe a little bit more. And it was literally $60. I kind of feel like crying at the amount I just spent in there and that's not even going to be like enough for a week. So needless to say, this zero waste lifestyle, like grocery wise, is extremely expensive. I also feel like it's a bit easier easier in cities rather than like the country or like more suburban areas because I feel like the cities are like the first place where there's like more bulk stores that are accessible. I have been googling things like grocery stores and stuff like that. I did find a delivery service for zero waste so I think I'm actually just going to check that out instead. I'm about to order total it's going to be about 60-ish dollars. That is another reason why it's not that accessible to people is because of the price. But hopefully that'll get better. It'll get more accessible, but I'm excited for it to be delivered. So they came to my door and they came in these two bags. So let's see. This is so cute. I'm living for this. Good morning. It is day two of the zero waste challenge. I decided I'm going to make some oatmeal today. I feel like it's impossible to go all in and create no waste at all. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if you can adapt some of the things of zero waste, yeah. then you're at least contributing and trying to make a difference and helping in some way. This is kind of what I was feeling like a little weird about because I didn't know if I had to like kind of start from scratch and buy everything over again and get rid of all of this plastic stuff. But the more articles and the more things that I read said that you should use all of your existing products up because just throwing everything away and not using them kind of goes against the zero waste motto. And I think even trying is important, like just adapting certain things. Like it's probably easy to buy a bamboo toothbrush. I heard that it feels different in your mouth than a normal toothbrush, so uh, we're gonna review it together. 
It just feels like a baby toothbrush. I'm scared to like ask the people at restaurants like, hey, can I put this in my own container? Because I watched a lot of videos with people going to like fast food places or to regular restaurants and they're like, what? Today I work all day long and I'm going to attempt to get lunch. That is zero waste. I had planned to get something to go and so I planned to go to Just Salad. At that place, you can buy a reusable bowl for just a dollar and I was like, sweet, I'm gonna use that. And at the end, the uh, girl who made it was like, you can't use that bowl this visit, you have to wash it out. And I was like, makes sense, okay. So I got it in this. And now, I have to carry this and this and this around with me all oh, I do not. Good morning, it is day three of the Zero Waste Challenge. I just got back from the party. I decided to stay the night. I have my reusable plastic, reusable fork, reusable cup. How do you feel? I feel really bad about myself and I wish I probably could see them. And I actually am really proud of myself because I barely need any waste. I pretty much got like all of my friends thinking about zero waste, which is really cool. So they were all like, oh my gosh, like you're using reusable Tupperware and like your own silverware. Like that's actually kind of cool. I love it. I wish everybody did that. Okay, I'm hiding in the corner making this video at work. But here's my question for you, because I don't really know the answer. I have to give plastic straws to my customers. I have to throw out napkins. Does that count as my trash? Because technically I'm obligated to do it. I don't know. But now that I'm doing the challenge, I feel really bad about doing it. I don't know what it is about this challenge, but I also think this is like a health challenge in a way because I I have been feeling healthier because I just feel like I'm not eating as much junk food and takeout and things like that. I've been drinking a lot of water and let me be honest, I don't drink water. I don't like water. Hello. Hello. <laughs> just go ahead, they'll probably edit it out. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just feeling good about the stuff that I'm eating this week and I hope that these trends stay. It's Monday, so it's day, no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's day four. And I have the best boyfriend in the world, and he bought me edible arrangements, which is amazing. But now I've got some trash on me. I have a confession to make. My roommate and I got the munchies last night a little bit. And so we like ran to the kitchen. We were all excited. And I look, there was a whole bag of snickerdoodle cookie mix. I made so much waste <laughs> making those cookies. So we've got Flyer. The packaging was this weird plastic bag, so that's going in my jar. We've got, I think, a something to keep it cold. The butter is wrapped in a weird plastic thing. That's going in my jar. Another flyer. The cinnamon sugar, that was in its own separate plastic bag, so that was a third thing going in my jar. And then every piece of chocolate comes in this. I craved, I just wanted them so bad. It was, I, I don't want to say it was worth it, but they were good. I can't recycle this and I can't recycle the little pods that each fruit comes in. So that's going straight into my trash bottle. So now that I did that dirty deed, I am being more conscious and being like, listen, everything's gonna be perfect, zero waste. Victoria is happening right damn now. I wasn't supposed to create any trash, but for starting and for not really knowing much, this is not that much trash. Um, we'll see what the rest of the week takes me. All right, y'all, so listen up. I just got off work. I'm going to the movies right now. And the game plan is I'm gonna get my drink, my tiny AF water bottle, because I need to get something when I see this movie or else it just won't be like my traditional movie theater experience. And hopefully, all goes well. Did you feel any like negative feedback or any like eye rolling? Yeah, I did when I went out to eat the one time. Me and my friend wanted to make sure that the straws got their way back to the kitchen. So when she brought them, we looked at her and we said, hey, like, could you take these back? We don't need them. And I literally was like looking at the guys behind us sitting at the table and they literally went like, and just looked so confused. Like literally, like we had murdered someone. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even being dramatic. And they were just laughing and sort of like making fun of it. I don't care that people are making fun of me or people think I'm stupid or whatever, but it's like, what's so weird about that? Like, I don't think that that's 
that weird. No. And just yeah. to think that people feel that way is like, I don't know, it made yeah. me kind of upset. My movie mission was a success. I just went up and I used my water bottle and yeah, I got my slushy. Great experience, zero waste, love it. Update on the sponge situation, I wanna show you something. I will never go back to a sponge again after using this biodegradable cloth because watch this. That actually was so much yeah. better than a sponge. Have you guys ever used them? I yeah. like, you can wipe peanut butter off and then it wipes right off the sponge as soon as you put it underwater. It's amazing. Watch this, ready? One, take off the peanut butter, but then it comes right off the cloth. Like magic. Love it, it's my new baby and I can do dishes without worrying about the sponge getting disgusting every single time. Today is the second to last day of the challenge. I actually just got back from the thrift store. I love thrifting and it's obviously really good and sustainable for the environment since you are buying secondhand clothes. I am on my way to a sushi place downstairs, but I brought a container and I'm going to ask for my sushi to be put in here. Today, my goal is to have a completely zero waste day brought my just salad bowl for lunch so I can finally use this and then I have this ceramic thermos or whatever that my roommate gave me and I'm gonna see if Starbucks will let me use this instead I have no idea what their policies are but hopefully it'll work out so I actually did get a pair of jeans but this tag came on so this is gonna have to go into the trash jar but they did it! They put my two rolls in my little container. This is the only problem with it, because of soy sauce. But I reuse these for salad dressing, so it's not going to waste, which is awesome. When I asked for the sushi in my container, they did it, but then with, with the ginger and the wasabi, yeah. they put the little green grass, grass thing, you know, yeah, the yeah. decoration. And there's things like you can't help even when you ask for absolutely no waste. They're just doing their job. It's not their yeah. fault, but like, it's a little frustrating. It's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So basically, I guess in short, just tell me how the challenge went. Just it was good. <laughs> <laughs> it was definitely easier in some ways than I thought it would be, but it was also more difficult in ways that I didn't think it would be. It definitely was the little things. I think I mentioned that at the beginning of the week. Mm -hmm. Like I was nervous about all the little tiny like tags and stuff, and I have quite a few of those. It's the final day of the challenge. I use a little more trash. Yesterday, I used a cotton ball to take off my makeup. It was the first time I wore makeup all week. I really never wear makeup. And I tried scrubbing as much of it off as I could in the shower and it just wasn't working. So I had to use a cotton ball because it's just gross and bacteria and it's just not good. I didn't know if dental floss went in there. I don't know if it was biodegradable or not. So I have <laughs> dental floss in here. Yeah, and I feel like there's a lot of things that like you have to do that are out of your control, mm -hmm. like the tags. Like you don't put them on the clothes, <laughs> but like they're there and like if you need to buy it or you have to buy it, that's just part of like the trash that you're creating. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm at the train station and instead of buying my ticket on the machine, I decided to buy it on the app to save the unnecessary paper because when you buy a train ticket, you get the actual ticket and then a receipt. And my mom is with me, so we would have had four pieces of paper, but instead we decided to book round trip on the app for both of us, so saving paper. I would say, yeah, the trash that I saved was definitely less than I expected. I felt like a lot of things were gonna compile together and I was this was like gonna be filled to the brim. I'd probably bring like two or three of these in. Yeah. But honestly, just to be conscious about it, you realize that the stuff that you usually buy, you don't need to. And so the amount of trash is actually a lot less than you think. And it really is like the little things. Yeah, I was proud of the amount that I had saved and put into this jar because it really shows me that it's like not that hard to do. I feel like as for the receipts and some of the little like plastic things that clothing or other items come on, like not saying it's not my fault, but it was kind of like out of my control. Obviously like this little wrapper from my chicken nuggets was my <laughs> fault, but I really wanted chicken nuggets. So like- Same with the cookies, girl. Exactly. Yeah, I definitely feel like I don't have as much as I thought, which is really cool. And it makes me feel like proud. Like I don't yeah, want to say like, oh, yeah. I'm proud of myself, but like, yeah. It's, it's cool. Yeah. I feel like I already did a lot of meal prepping for myself, so I don't have many like food wrappers in here, but like there are a lot of things that were out of my control. Like I have plastic from the doctor's office, because you know how they put the 
thing on. Mm -hmm. They put it in this plastic bag. And I could have just thrown it out there, but this is my trash because I used it. So this is going in my bottle of shame. My advice to anyone that wants to try zero waste would definitely be to do your research and find resources in your area that work for you and that are close to you. My advice would be to not let accessibility stop you from trying to be zero waste. There are all these little things that you can do by like bringing your own bottles to a Starbucks or just bringing your Tupperware out to eat. Don't be afraid to challenge yourself and don't be afraid to just try new things. The little things do count like if you can't do the grocery haul and you can't do, you know, not buying a specific thing, like if you need meat for some reason, bringing a cup and bringing Tupperware and meal prepping just a little bit, like, does add up and it does really count um, if you can't do the whole lifestyle. And I also want to say, do your research. It helps a lot and it takes maybe 30 minutes of your time. Bake more. That's what <laughs> I did this week. I was just craving sugar and I baked a lot. I had these little silicon uh, cupcake liners. So if you're like baking, get those because they were helpful yes. with my cupcakes. Yeah. No waste cupcakes. Mm. Mm, I should start a cupcake shop. No waste cupcakes. No waste cupcakes. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Trademarked, copyrighted. That's my cake cupcake, <laughs> Don't cupcake <touch> shop. <laughs> <laughs>